Well, well. Look who it is. Madonna. I thought when we met you were a bit special, but an assassin. Hmm. Walk with me, Karen. You're going to love Forley. The cannons in our citadella alone go back a hundred years. The artifact will be quite safe there. Forgive me. But I've never heard of a woman ruling her own city before. It's very impressive. Well, it was my husband's before, of course. He died. Oh. I'm sorry. Don't be. I had him killed. Oh. <clears throat> we discovered Girolamo Riario was working for the Templars, making a map of the locations of the remaining Codex pages. I never liked that goddamn son of a bitch anyway. He was a lousy father. Boring in bed, and a pain in my ass. Look! Oh no! I want no part of this! Aspetta! What's happening? Oh. Oh. They came as soon as you left the city walls, Signora. The city is under attack. What? By who? The Orsi brothers, Signora. Oh, sangue di Giuda. Who are the Orsi? The same canalia I hired to kill my husband. It's the Spaniard, of course. The Orsi have no world view bigger than their purse. But how could he know where we were taking the apple before we even knew? Because they're not here for the apple, Ezio. They're after Riario's map. Basta with your map, Nicolo. My children are inside. Oh, porco demonio. Eccolo! He's right there. Crossing bastards. Is there another way into this place? Aspetta. Perhaps yes. There's an old tunnel under the western wall from the canal. Bene. I'll be right back. Hey, you! Yeah, I'm talking to you. You spineless dogs. You occupy my city, my home. You think I'm going to stand here and do nothing about it? How about I come up there and rip your ballet off? What kind of man are you? of your master for good change. You're not afraid of me. You will be when I come up there and cut your head off.
What? Bodies are starting to 
brothers, you will avenge me. Strong. Forgive me, Signora. They were playing outside when the attack began. I don't know where they are. Reinforcements from the mountains! They are breaching the citadel! Ezio, don't let those bastardi get in here! With me! Surprise! I take it you would be the Orsi brothers. Ludovico and Keiko, at your service. Basta! Where are my children? Let them go! Of course, signora. We'll happily give them back for something of yours. A certain map. 
And a certain apple, brother. See, a certain apple indeed. Or shall I slice your baby's necks ear to ear? Bastardi! You think you can threaten me? I'll give you nothing! You want my children? Take them! I have the instrument to make more! When you change your mind, they'll be in the village outside the city! You have one hour! <sighs> Katerina, no. I can't ask you to sacrifice your children. Nobody's sacrificing anything. Go get them back for me, Ezio. See, si. you have my word. The apple needs to remain in the citadel. Keep this safe. Echo and Ludovico Orsi. Bored with their leisurely life in the countryside, the Orsi brothers decided to spice things up a little. They started a money lending business that was extremely successful, mostly because they killed anyone who didn't pay them back. Then, Caterina Sforza hired them to murder her Templar husband, Girolamo Riario, which they did in true cavalier fashion. They rode up to his palace, waltzed into the dining room, stabbed him in the chest, ransacked the estate, and left his naked body in the centre of town. According to Abstergo's files, Rodrigo Borgia, after escaping from Venice, offered to pay them for the recapture of the Peace of Eden. And, of course, Caterina's head. It was the Orsi brothers' idea to kidnap her children. I ask you, what has this world come to when the rich go so bad?
hate these awkward moments. Should you come you to me? Pay for that. Any last words? like a baby. Where are your balls? I'm hungry. Can I have something to eat? Please, Messere, I'm hungry. Basta, basta, you're giving me a headache. This is your last chance, Katerina. The apple now, or I break the boy's legs. Fool to send you. Or are you the fool, dying for a handful of change? Was it worth it? More than you know. The maestro gains his price because of me. Mori col tuo orgoglio. Per quanto vale. Reguiescat in pace. What are you doing out here? I'm so sorry, Ezio. I'm so sorry. What happened? It was a trick to lower our defenses. As soon as you left, they attacked again. Keko Orsi, he has the apple. What? No! Where is he? We chased him out here. But the bastards escaped into the mountains. I'm going. Don't 
So, you have your prize again. Was it worth it? So much bloodshed. <coughs> A prize of such value. It will not remain yours for long. We shall see. Che miseria nascono dalla vita. Requiesca in pace. Guards had the luck to find you in the hills, next to Kek Orsi's dead body. See, that I remember. Wait, there was a third man. He took the apple. Who? He wore a black robe, like a monk. And I think a missing finger. See, Katerina, I have to go right away. Of course. Then you will need this as well. The map Nicolò spoke of. Your husband. Ex-husband, mio caro. He swore he'd uncovered the locations of all the Codex pages. You will recover the apple, but you will never find the vault without this. You know, there is an abbey in the wetlands near here, where I've seen monks wearing black robes. I'd start there. Now go. Find us a stramaladetto monk. I think I'm going to miss you, Katarina. Oh, I know you will. Unbelievable prices I have for you, stimati clienti. You will say I am quite pazzo. Destra. 
My recent good fortune finding new suppliers has paid off. And I like No, go away. Please, you're ruining my business. I'm your brother. Grazie. I wonder if you can help me. What do you see? A monk in black robes who lacks one of his ten fingers. Well, Brother Guido has only nine toes. You sure it wasn't a toe? Quite sure. And then there's Brother Domenico, but it's his entire left arm he's lacking. Again, quite sure it was a finger. Hmm. Now wait a moment. I do recall a black robed monk with nine fingers. Yes, of course. When we had our last San Vincenzo's feast. At the Abbey. Yes, I know the place. I'll try there. Grazie. Go in peace, brother. I always do. Hey, hey! Excuse me, brother. I wonder if you can... Uh, uh, unholy demon! Get away! What's wrong? You're the one who killed Brother Stefano! Brothers, the killer of monks has returned! Please, no! I don't want to die! I only kill those who kill others. Your brother Stefano was a killer. I'm sure you are no such thing. Now, listen to me. I'm looking for a black-robed monk who's missing a finger. Missing a finger, you say? 
Do you mean like Fra Savonarola? Savonarola? Who is this? You know him? I did. He was one of us for a time. And then? We suggested he retire to a hermitage for a good long time. I'm afraid to say his retreat has come to an end. Where would he have gone? Oh dear. Santo Spirito in Firenze? It's where he studied. Perhaps it's where he would return. I thank you. Go with God, brother. Girolamo Savonarola, a Dominican friar from Ferrara, this man took his job seriously. He saw the excesses of his age, the rich stomping the poor into the dirt, the priests selling indulgences to the populace, and he went insane. Calling himself an instrument of God, Savonarola descended on Frenzy. His sermons sent people into frenzies. He demanded an end to all personal property, to all progress, a return to Eden. Knowledge became the enemy. And he could erase it all with the piece of Eden at his command. Books, paintings, musical instruments, he burned everything in the bonfire of the vanities. History unraveled as his legions took control, and Firenze descended into darkness. Hey Desmond, I think I repaired that busted memory. Why don't you try opening it? <laughs> 